In this super quick After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to make these amazing looking spark motion graphic animations and these are super simple, so let's just go right into it. So I just made a new composition and first of all, let's just give it a solid background, just like this. And now let's start with the, with the sparks. And first of all, we need to add a shape layer and open it up and let's just add an ellipse path first of all. And we can see nothing, so let's also add a, a new fill effect just like this and we want this to be white just like this and yeah this looks like a yeah just like a circle but we need these star shapes so this is super simple let's just also add a pack and bloat effect and open this up to get into the settings and now we just have to give it a negative value just like this and yeah this is already perfect now we can just animate the ellipse path so let's go to the beginning of our animation and bring this down to zero and put in a keyframe with this little button here. And then just go forward like one uh, or two seconds. Let's just go with one second and just make it a bit bigger. Just like this. And now we can see this is animated, but it's really slow and it doesn't pop and looks a bit weird. So let's also yeah, change that real quick. So let's just click on the size and open up the graph editor with this button here, just like this. And click the size again and now we have to hit the easy ease button so we get access to these yeah curve yeah manipulation techniques whatever and let's just select the first keyframe and bring this up a lot just like this so the curve should look similar to this one and now we can see this will just start fast and then slow down which will make it look more smooth and we also want it to disappear at the end so let's just close the graph editor again and press T on the keyboard for transparency or for opacity. And now we can just go basically in the middle between these two points, which is like for me half a second. So like in the middle of this animation, put in a keyframe at the opacity at 100% and then just go to the end and bring this down to zero. And now it will just disappear smoothly. And yeah, this looks good, but maybe let's Oops, let's just bring these two keyframes a bit forward, just like this, and now it will just, yeah, vanish really smooth, and this is good. And yeah, now it's super simple, if we want more of these, like this triple animation in here, we can just duplicate these by pressing Ctrl D, like this, and moving them around, and pressing S to access the scale settings, and just give them different sizes. Duplicate them again with Ctrl D, hit S and just make it smaller again, just like this. And what also always looks good is to yeah, displace them in the timeline a bit. So let's bring the second one a bit to the right and the third one even more. So they have different starting points. And I think this looks super cool and can be used in many motion graphic projects. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time.